Alright, so now let's continue our discussion um, regarding this fan performance curves. Now, when you say fan performance curves, it's actually um, a graphical graphical representation representation of the parameters and this is a capacity side capacity side what that means is that if if here's our fan then of course at that given diameter and at that given um, horsepower for example or, or or at that given speed there's there's already there's already in a capacity like um, let's say in terms of static pressure right and the flow rate so these are the two most common ones that we use and also the the horsepower um, so it's like this so if here's our fan if I buy this fan it has already a capacity let's say it can deliver this much flow rate um, let's say 4 cubic meters per second and at a static pressure of um, 0 0.3 inch so that's the maximum capacity for example then uh, of course this is a capacity side because later on when we are going to do some fan selection then we need to compare this capacity of the fan to the load side right so for example I want to install this into a ducting like for example it has some filters it has some um, whatever equipment uh, it has some bends right so this one the load side will also have its uh, of course there's gonna be a required flow rate and also a static pressure right so take note once again uh, when we are selecting fans uh, when we are going to do selection of fans or computation for fans uh, we are computing this side we are competing for the required flow rate like for example in a livestock building then how many fans do we need that depends upon the requirement of the livestock or the poultry uh, depending upon their requirements for the ventilation so the same goes through with residential um, buildings and probably commercial buildings then what's going to be the required flow rates of the human occupants right so that's going to be our flow rate here that's that's in the load side and of course since we have this let's say in a ducting systems then we have this equipments right here um, let's say we have this filters we also have um, louvers or whatever that increases the uh, that makes this uh, it makes it harder for the fan to move the air because of those resistances so that's going to be the the load side the static pressure at the load side now let's say we we have computed this then what's going to be the uh, the suitable fan so that's going to be on this capacity side right so we are just trying to match this capacity side and the uh, load side so in um if you studied this actually in, in some reference they use the the term uh, required and the other one they, they use the the term demand or something like that but the idea is that this fan has a capacity the um, the the setup or the system where we want to install the fan has a requirement like or, or a, a load side of course it requires this uh, flow rate and requires this static pressure and we, we are just matching the too. right so when you say fan performance curves basically say a, a graphical representation of the performance of a specific fan so uh, different fans actually has different performance curves so let's say right here it says here a static curve for a vein actual fans or a static pressure curve for a backward inclined centrifugal fans so the x-axis is the flow rate that's the Q and the this one is the H for example so it says that uh, at lower at lower Q we have this uh, much static pressure or if uh, we have this Q right here we, we are in this range so uh, that shows information regarding the uh, these parameters right so you see here that for a vein actual the curve is different than this um, static pressure curve for backward inclined right so of course uh, there's gonna be considerations uh, depending upon our our applications our requirement right so uh, 
that's just the point and how is this curve generated is uh of course there's got to be a, a test rig about like for example here's our fan and i'm going to totally block the the passage that uh in the sense that there's going to be no more airflow rate that's um that's going out then what's going to be the the plot so of course if it's if it is totally blocked then it's zero then we have a maximum static pressure now what if i so it's like this so if it's, if this is the fan then i block this totally then of course there's going to be no flow rate then we have a maximum pressure now what if i open this uh, let's say i open this uh 75 per, uh, so, sorry 25 percent so 75 percent is restricted then of course uh, there's going to be some flow rate that's passing but we still have this higher pressure now what if i reduce the opening i mean i re reduce the blockage so let's say 50 percent so this will be the points right here's the points and if it's going to be super wide open like no more blockage then what's going to be uh, the point so that's it so a curve is, is generated for a specific fans right and uh, there's still many other curves like for example uh, superimposed to this are the brake horsepower so let's say right here so we have this flow rate so flow rate on the horizontal and we have a here in the vertical we have this static pressure but superimposed right here is the brake horsepower so in that curve actually we can also compute like um, we can uh, we can directly determine the brake horsepower like for example uh, here's our record flow rate and here's our um, uh, I mean starting from this record record flow rate then we project this to that to this point this static pressure point and then uh we can obtain this static pressure right so from this point onwards if we project this to the brake horsepower curve then we can read the the reading right here to the brake horsepower axis so that's just it so for example another one for the backward incline so if i just project to the horsepower uh sorry to the uh, static pressure then what i'm reading is the static pressure if i project from this point to that to the brake horsepower curve then what i'm reading is the brake horsepower in this axis okay so another one is we have this fan, per fan performance table so instead of using the uh these curves uh maybe some data or some uh, manufacturers or catalogs you can you can find this parameters in a tabulated manner all right so that's just it then now let's talk about this system resistance and operating point so this is what i was i was uh, i was saying because the system resistance is this load side and the fan performance curve is this capacity side so uh, recall that here we have here let's say we have uh, there's here's our fan performance but in the resistance size we are also computing for the flow rate for the required flow rate and uh, we also have we are also computing for the static pressure and therefore if this is q and this is pressure h h and q we have here something a graph like this a power curve so here's our system resistance Right. here's our system resistance and here's our fan performance curve so if we if we combine this let's write uh, this is blue and then this one is red system resistance so if we combine that in this graph so we have here something like this and this right so So what we get here is an intersection point right between this uh, system resistance curve and this uh, fan performance curve and that's going to be our um, operating point point. and so here's our operating point of course since this is just an estimate because uh, we can only estimate this so there's going to be a, a region we're in it's going to be the uh, the most probably not the most but uh, 
uh, I mean, ideally, that's where we want, right? That's where we want. Because we can deliver this to carb fluid and this uh, pressure right here. Okay, so uh, sometimes if we estimate it, let's say we estimate it uh, wrongly, then uh, probably we we are in this in this range, for example, or maybe in this range. So that means that uh, here's our required flow rate, but we if if we estimate um, it wrongly, then and we selected this fan, then that means that we selected a fan that cannot deliver this required flow rate, but it can operate at this pressure. So that means it is. Um, That means that it is um, it is oversized in terms of this pressure because it is higher, but the but the flow rate is uh, it's not enough, All right? So if we select at this, let's say we estimated um, we have a wrong estimation for the system resistance, and let's say here it is, then that means that we can deliver this much flow rate, but actually we can. Uh, uh, it's undersized in the sense that it cannot deliver this um, cannot uh, I mean let's say here's our ideal situation um, our ideal uh, requirement then that means that we cannot deliver that because uh, the capacity for the fan that we selected is only for this static pressure so that's it so this is undersized this is oversized but this one is we don't have that much flow rate so the best operating point or the ideal point should be uh, somewhere near this right so that's and also that's the reason why there are many many kinds of uh, curves or fan curves like um, we have this um, what do you call this let's say the centrifugal backward curve or curve so there's a lot of uh, a lot of many other curves because uh, we are trying to let's say if there's going to be a drop in this there's going to be a drop in this uh, pressure, but we can still deliver that much flow rate. So that's the uh, application. Okay, and then lastly, we'll talk about this fan arrangement. Um, fan arrangement is basically if I have if I have this if I want to connect the fans in series let's say here's my fan A and here's my fan B then if I want to connect this this in series I'm I'm going to connect this side by side then what's going to be the effect in terms of flow rate and the uh, the pressure but if I want to connect it this way then what's going to be uh, I mean this one is termed as parallel configurations so what's going to be the effect to the flow rate and the static pressure right so uh, when we connect fans in series it says here that or let me write it I think let's just write it here so for series recall that here's the here's our fan A and let's say here's our fan B then that means that the uh, the, the flow rate that's entering this fan A is the same flow rate that's that's entering this this fan B right so uh, so here's our flow rate Q and that's the same flow rate that enters and leaves the fan A and that's the same flow rate that enters and leaves the fan B so basically that just means that QA is equal to QB and that's gonna be our right A and B and that's gonna be our Q total but in terms of pressure the, the pressure here because th there is a capacity for this uh, fan A so there th so therefore pressure A plus pressure B that's gonna be our total pressure take note for now I use the uh, the symbol P for pressure right, so let's write it here pressure All right so th the pressure capacity of this plus the pressure capacity of that that's gonna be the total pressure but if I connect this in parallel that means that I have something like this All right so here's our a fan a and fan B so that means that the air flow that enters 
uh, this point right here actually uh, some some portion enters this and some portion enters that right so that means that the total that the total so QA so QA that's this one QA and then this one is QB right QA plus QB that's gonna be our total flow rate so that increases the the flow rate but in terms of static pressure since uh, it's just in parallel configuration that means that the pressure of A is just equal to uh, pressure at B and that's just equal to the total pressure all right so again this is pressure so that's for parallel configuration and this one is for series configurations now in terms of plots we have here a plot and it says in fan and series let's say here's the fan performance curve of a and here's the fan performance curve of b then in terms of in terms of the flow rate right so we have this flow rate it's just equal right equal to a it's just equal to the same flow rate as b and then equal to the same flow rate that uh, i mean if there's a combined series combined fans in series but the pressure right here you notice that the pressure here the, here's the pressure a and here's the pressure b so uh of course that means that they're not identical because they have different curves so that means that these pressure at a plus pressure b this will be the combined pressure capacity of the of that fans configurations now for if you have this parallel arrangement then um here's our our fan performance curve for fan A and here's the fan performance curve for fan B and the total is this if we have these parallel configurations then here's our curve so if you check here in terms of pressure here's our pressure and it's the same pressure for fan B and if they're combined then it's it has also the same pressure but in terms of flow rate right here so here is q sub a and here is q sub b then the total is this q a plus q sub b so we have a higher flow rate for fans in parallel okay so um if we want to increase the pressure then this is simply means um, i mean if we want to increase the pressure without uh, increasing the flow rate then that means that we just connect the fans in parallel if we want an uh, increase in flow rate but without increasing the the pressure then that means we connect sorry what was i saying uh if we want to go to increase the pressure without changing the flow rate then we connect this in, in series but if we want to uh con if we want a higher uh, flow rate but without changing the static pressure then we just connect this in parallel okay so uh lastly selection of fans and blowers um first of course we need to to compute for the of course we need we need to compute for the uh for the flow rate right so flow rate total airflow needed and the static pressure that's the flow rate and the static pressure of the resistance so, so here's our resistance and then uh, we need also to estimate the estimate the fan power requirements and then we go to the fan catalogs or if we have this fan performance curve or fan performance tables then we just select the best appropriate uh, fan that can do the job all right so i guess that's that's all for our topics uh, regarding fans and blowers and in the next topic that uh, we, we'll discuss uh, we are going to talk about pumps okay so see you in the next video